I did try to grab the same bag. Can't tell you a hundred percent if it was right. Turns out it wasn't, but don't tell anyone. Welcome back to my channel it's Wendy here from Toon Fish Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Before I go on to this week's video I just want to say if you haven't heard already I will be at Makers Central this year. It's the last day of April and the first day of May in the NEC Birmingham UK and yeah come and say hi I don't buy it I'm quite nice really <laughs> yeah it'd be nice to see people there. Anyway going back to this week's video I had a a comment a few weeks ago from one of my subscribers who asked about holographic plastic. Now she'd seen a video from somebody, I don't know who, who'd been putting holographic plastic into 3D moulds and it, the sparkle from it apparently was really gorgeous. So she'd been searching on Amazon for vinyl and it would just come up with vinyl she didn't know what else to put in holographic plastic wasn't coming up with anything so I had a search around and putting in all different words trying to find out what what the lady was talking about presumably it was a lady <laughs> and I came up with iridescent cellophane now iridescent cellophane basically is what they use to wrap bunches of flowers in or you can get party bags with the same thing so Iridescent cellophane is what I pulled, is what I purchased from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. I'm an Amazon affiliate now, so I have links. They don't cost you any more. You can follow the link, but I do get a little throwback from my channel, which does help. Anyway, I'm gonna play around with some iridescent cellophane. Let's see what we get up to. So the iridescent cellophane has come from Amazon. I will put all the links in the description box below. Like I said, I am an Amazon affiliate, but you don't have to follow the link. If you do, it doesn't cost you any more. And I do get a little throwback towards my channel, which really helps. So these sheets are designed for flower wrapping. They're really quite large, actually. And they're quite thin. I haven't managed to find that many colours of them either. Party bags are a slightly thicker consistency. They're less crunchy as well, more plasticky. So I'm going to be using Vuba Vista Black pigment for this well for this part anyway. I'm using Cascade Resin and that cures in 24 hours and this black pigment is really silky smooth and completely opaque. A couple of old moulds, they're old, they're craggy, it doesn't matter, these are just test pieces. Now I've made up quite a lot of black, I am going to use it for another project but I thought I'd do a couple of small pieces as well making sure that the mould is completely filled and even though they're test pieces I'm still going to go around the outside with a micro brush to get rid of any trapped air that does get trapped in any 90 degree angle. It's physics after all. Quick squirt of isopropanol alcohol and leave them to cure. I'm going to do the same with the white Vista pigment and have a white background as well using the same moulds and I also do a large one as well because I made up quite a lot of white. I was using it for another project, but I made up too much. So I thought, why not use it in this? 24 hours later, and I've just put a little bit of clear turbo resin in the top two small moulds. Now this was left over from the previous project and it was actually overheating at this point. So I just used a little bit in these two moulds and I thought I'd fill one with glitter. And unfortunately it overheated too much to put anything in the other ones. So I then made up some more turbo resin and went on to the larger ones. Yeah. 
So what I thought I'd do is to cut up some of this uh, iridescent cellophane and put it in layers to see if it has different effects on top of each other, i.e. lots of different pieces, than just singular. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just putting pieces in and pushing them down, trying not to get too much air underneath them. Although it doesn't really matter because I've scrunched it up, it's kind of given it a pattern anyway and you won't see those air bubbles between the layers. So I just thought I'd crunch them all up, pop them in and see if it comes out. Now I am fully aware that this is a round mould and all the pieces I've cut up have square edges. That's not a problem, it is just a test piece, it's not meant to be pristine. However, it's the centre really that I'm interested in. The part with lots of layers in it. I want to see what kind of effect you get with more layers. I am trying to put pieces at the edges, mind you, but because they're flat, they're not going to fit properly. Fully aware of this. Maybe I should have cut some circles out. In fact, the next one I actually do cut into a circle, but then it's a little bit too big for the mould. Ah, it's all good fun. I love experimenting. If you are going to try this, it's a good idea to know that if you do cut it too large for the mould, because you want it to fit the mould, it's going to ripple up. And a couple of places it rippled up so much that I couldn't top coat it without it showing. Just to let you know that. Now with the last one, I decided to do both. I decided to put the iridescent cellophane in the middle and some really cute glitter from Yvonne at Resin Supplies Den on Facebook. If you're in the UK, Resin Supplies Den is a Facebook group with a lot of different sellers that sell most things to do with resin. I'll put the link in the description box. So going back to the black ones, I've decided to do roughly the same as I did with the white. Now I've slept since then, so trying to remember what I did the day before is not easy at my age, but I'll do my best. Now this is fresh resin, so the two at the top are not going to overheat. I know that for certain. So this is Talk Over Wendy, and Talk Over Wendy knows that I didn't do exactly the same. But I did layer up this one. I cut a circular piece to go in the bottom and then I layered it with jagged pieces so that it was slightly different but the same. It still had layers and I could still see the difference because of the black base basically. All the little pieces I'm putting in are jagged, they're not circular, they're just cut up tiny bits of this cellophane. And I put some clear resin on the top just to hold it all down. So this is where it gets completely different. These are pieces of cut up bits of vinyl. A lot of people use vinyl. Now the problem I have with vinyl is that it's shiny on one side and very dull on the other. And that's if you find vinyl that has two sides of colour. A lot of them have white on the back, so you can't actually turn them over at all. But I thought I'd try this out. I know I didn't do this in the white section, but I really wanted to see whether I could get it good enough for me to actually really like it. I do like this stuff under other things. I do have used it before. It is pretty and I wanted to see also whether a black background would make a lot of difference to it. And the annoying thing was that a lot of the pieces were upside down. I also got really fed up with putting them in to be honest with you. I was trying to put them up the right way. A lot of them were going upside down and it frustrated me so I kind of stopped. And this is where I went into the little one. Now this one is a singular piece of the cellophane, same as I did in the large one yesterday. So I'm just doing that as a singular piece but I decided to put it in the little one this time. And the last one again is with glitter just to see if it makes any difference on a black background. I did try to grab the same bag. Can't tell you hundred percent if it was right. Turns out it wasn't, but don't tell anyone. Slightly different colour. It looks the same in the bag though. So I topped them up with a little bit of resin, 
squirt them with isopropanol alcohol to get rid of the surface bubbles and put them to bed. I love iridescent cellophane. It's not something I would have searched for, I would have searched for vinyl, but iridescent cellophane is gorgeous stuff. It really is. It's crispy and crunchy and it's tactile and lovely. And using it with glitter with a white background gives that effect. It is absolutely stunning. Now I have done the silver around the outside so that you can see inside, if you see what I mean. This is only test pieces, but I'm so impressed with that. The vinyl with the black background did work really well. Now you might really like that one. I like it, but I'm not a lover of it. It's pretty though. The iridescent cellophane with a white background on its own. I think there's just one or two sheets in there. Really, really stunning, gorgeous effects. Several sheets, it's even better. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm hoping that you can pick up this. It is stunning. It is absolutely, st the, the color shift is amazing. I hope the camera picks this up. And with a back black background, wow. I mean, you'd never think that was the same plastic, would you? You really would never think that was the same. It's gorgeous. Now, if you put other colors in the background, like red or blue, it would change it again. This stuff is amazing, it really is. I've got more things planned <laughs> for this in the future. In fact, I'm doing them right now and filming the videos. The glitter on its own is actually is stunning. And with a back, one piece with a black background is gorgeous. Now, you've obviously seen these throughout the video. And I love messing around with new things. Iridescent cellophane, I have used it before, but not gone to these links to try it out. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Come back and see me next week because you never know what I'm going to be up to. I have so many things planned. <laughs> I can't wait. Have a great week. Happy crafting. Bye for now.